Hello, my name is Josie Anderson, and today is day five of Corona Diaries by Anthro Magazine. It is the fourth day of shelter in place as administered by Santa Clara County. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the experiences that my family and I have had over the past few days and what we expect to be having in the coming weeks. Um, so uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about how um, my family, they own a small business in Palo Alto and as abiding by Santa Clara, uh, Santa Clara law, we have um, shut our doors um, until further notice and have postponed all classes and parties um, to ensure that there is complete social distancing. We haven't been having any staff coming in to work in um, this time um, and that's been really strange for uh, my parents, I think. Um, it's been strange for to have them home even, which doesn't usually happen. My dad over the, the past few weeks and days has been going to various supermarkets, especially before we um, close the doors for our business, um, just so we could get produce necessary for the classes. And um, it's really, it's a really strange environment at the stores. Um, I know that every day at Costco there is lines out the door um, and same at Safeway, like you can't get a parking space, it's so hard. Um, and you know, um, all the shelves are completely bare, like we couldn't get chicken, we couldn't get rice, pasta, anything, it's like, it's crazy. Um, I know that Costco, I think, are doing a pretty good job just trying to make sure everyone's getting their necessities. Um, at Costco they have people, um, staff, like manning the, the toilet paper section, the baby wipes, diaper section, um, and they're handing them out to individual customers, ensuring that everyone only um, buys one, which I think is great. Um, I know that last week uh, my dad witnessed um, two people fighting over the last rolls of toilet paper. I mean, that just, I think that shows what kind of state we're in, how everyone's really, um, really stressed and it's never really something that we've all gone through before. We're really trying to stay away from that mentality where we should hoard and completely self-isolate. Um, we are, however, ensuring that we are staying away from everyone outside of our immediate family um, and everyone inside this house. My, my older brother, he lived with my grandparents um, about 15 minutes from here and um, he has moved back home with us to um, avoid having contact with um, our grandparents who are 70 years old. We just don't want to put them at risk at all. Um, it's really weird having him here, um, but it's good, it's nice. I've been um, fortunate enough to be able to communicate with a lot of my friends who um, live around the world and I've been able to like learn about their different experiences. I know that my t uh, two of my friends who live in England, their schools have just closed down um, I know that one of them, their family has the symptoms of coronavirus, um, which is terrifying. I think that the collective mindset that we're all in is we just, we don't really know what's going to happen. We don't understand. Um, and so I think... A lot of my friends, um, including myself, are apprehensious. I think we're scared, but still hopeful. I really hope um, school goes back before summer closes. I don't know what's going to happen if it doesn't. Um, I'm, I don't know what they're going to do about college credits or if the school has to go into summer. I'm unsure. I hope we don't. I have to take two summer um, classes summer school classes in order to graduate um, and so if school does end up going into summer school or if those classes are cancelled I don't know what I'm going to do I don't know if I'll be able to graduate 
I hope that exceptions will be made, um, but it's just all unclear. Okay, thank you for watching day five of Anthro Magazine's Corona Diaries. If you want to look at our website, that's at anthromagazine.org. Um, if you want to look at any of our social medias, they will all be listed down below. Um, thank you. Stay healthy.